Hey everybody, Ryan here. I'm just coming at you with a little video where I'm going over, I think, four of my DVDs that I have that are rare. They're out of print, and they're very hard to find non-bootleg copies. Um, really, I mean, one of these you could only get, I mean, for like 300 and something dollars, like new, on Amazon. And, um... I'm just going to go over some of these really quick, because uh, a couple of people asked me about other what other rare movies that I have, and I have more than this, but these are just ones I grabbed. Literally, I'm about to go to bed, but I wanted to throw in this little video really quick. So, as you can see, the first one that I have is The Third Man, Carol Reed's Third Man, which, is, which was a Criterion release until Studio Canal decided to discontinue the contract for Criterion and now that Studio Canal has their own edition out just through them and I hear it is not nearly as good as this old Criterion edition and so a lot of people have sent me messages saying oh you're lucky you got you still got the the third man on Criterion and I'm very glad that I did because I love this film probably one of my favorite noir type films out there um, I mean it really uses Vienna which is where the movie's set post-war Vienna I mean Vienna is really like a character in the film kinda like how you know San Francisco is and Dirty Harry and so it's just such a great film and you can never go wrong with Orson Welles and definitely you can never go wrong with anything Joseph Cotton's in he's a very underrated actor I feel he always gets kind of overshadowed by Orson Welles, but I think, um, uh, I'll just put that off the side. I think he's a wonderful actor. The next one is the one I actually just got in the mail today from Big Toe 512, Steve, and that is the Rebecca Criterion Collection. This one is very hard to find, and if you do find it, it's usually a bootleg, and it's, a, I mean, it's very expensive to get, and I was really glad that Steve, um, wanted to make a deal and send this to me and just an awesome awesome guy because Alfred Hitchcock is one of my favorite filmmakers and I've always wanted this criterion it's been like my dream DVD to finally get and so it's just an amazing an amazing set the next one is another one that Steve sent me <laughs> um, in regards to criterion he's really helped me branch out and get some rare things out there he's helped me find some and I've looked at his videos where he found his and stuff, but this one is Louise Benwell's The Discreet Charm of the Bourgeoisie. And this film is just just a masterpiece of satire. And they just recently, actually I might not even have been recently, but it was a while back, um, discontinued um, all the Benwell films that he did. Like, I guess you could say the French Benwell, because he did... Um, films in France, he did Mexican films, and all of the films that they have on Criterion from the French period have been discontinued. So, this one's another rare one. And the next film is actually the most rare film I have in my entire film collection. And it was only out for a month, and I had it pre-ordered for a long time, or reserved through like an email thing, and I got an email saying it was there. And I actually went through hell to get it. And it is the Disney treasure of Mr. or Dr. Sin and the Scarecrow of Romney Marsh, starring Patrick McGowan. And it is a major, major, major milestone in... Oh, it's a steel case, so i got to get that out. Uh, it is a major milestone in Disney. Um, and does, it's like... A mi little mini series on TV. Well, let me move my camera a little bit. There we go. And it is um, four hours and forty-seven minutes. They showed it over, you know, the magical world of Disney or something on TV. Um, oh, the wonderful world of color in the '60s. But anyways, they had they were releasing this on the tr Disney Treasures, and it was really, really exciting that they are releasing it. They released it, they made literally like a few thousand copies, and then within three weeks it was out of print. 
And even now, if you look on Amazon, look at this. It's like 150 bucks new under the used category. And this, I actually went through credit card fraud to get this. I was getting it from my mother-in-law because she loved this growing up. And I went through all this trouble to get it for her. And somehow she got it before it came in. I, I, I forgot. She got it way before. I tried to order it way before for her birthday or something. And it just didn't work out. Well, this company started taking all this money out of my bank account. And I'm like, alright, what the heck is this? So the company that I bought this from actually stole my credit card information. And they started charging me up the yin yang for everything. And they kept taking money out of my account without shipping this. And next thing you know, it's like $200 later, and I still hadn't received this. And so, eventually, it came in the mail, and it came with a certificate of authenticity and everything. And the bank um, got in touch with the company. It was one of those things you call back the number, and they act like they can't hear you, then they hang up. And the bank paid me the money that they took. They researched it, and apparently they closed down the company that was like doing the fraud. And so, I got all my money back. And I got this very rare, very extremely rare um, DVD set. So those are some of my rare DVDs. I hope you guys like them. I'll go ahead and line them up like this really quick. I hope you guys don't care if I make videos that are like this, you know, with my cell phone. Because it's a little bit easier to make a video a lot with these. So there you go. All right, guys. Take it easy.